Woo! Welcome to day five of the expo. Where it's gonna be all about the imports from three out of the four alien species featured in this game. Uh, for the fourth species, their ship is not ready for show yet. It will be ready, I believe, in January next year. But it is not in game yet. But it is in the works. But, uh, here we now have showcase of the three alien species, uh, ships and ground vehicles. And they all have their own little quirks to it. So their, uh, ship design and technology and philosophy and everything. Uh, they're all around the same technological level as a human, so nothing too outlandish. And they all pretty much in take inspirations from each other in terms of certain design elements. You know, one species in particular just like takes like the best of uh, every every uh, technology out of from every other species. But yeah, let's turn the camera around. As you can see, we have Apoa. These are like a turtle race of people. Turtle people. Ninja turtles, people call them. We got the Banu over there on that side. Which is, uh, he's very long and slender and tall type of race. And over there, we got Esperia. Which actually makes the, basically remake, remakes of all the Vandu ships. You know, the big main baddies of Star Citizen. You know, since uh, the humans are not directly trading with them, they basically take their destroyed ships or old ships and remake them and make them compatible with humans. While these two are sent, are actually imports directly from the uh, their species. They make ships targeted, oh, well, compatible with humans as part of like a uh, trade agreements, whatever you know friendship and all that though in lore there is uh, some people who are like xenophobic who want nothing to do with aliens uh, this here is a poa as you can see by their floating symbol there, what the hell they're all about the gravity, gravity levitation, technology, and everything. It's very nice, very nice. This here is their bike. Sleekest bikes you will ever see. It is a beauty. Beauty and beyond beautiful. Best bike from anything I've ever seen. Oh yeah, I've got to talk about their uh, descriptions. Uh, so, uh, since the relatively recent passing of the historic Human Xi'an Trade Initiative, APOA has been steadily increasing its presence in a human market. By way of Xi'an military-inspired conversions, its ships offer some of the tightest and most nuanced handling this side of Hydrium system. Long lauded 
and collective circles, the spurious meticulous recreations are tributes to tireless research, attention to detail, and uncompromising commitment to craftsmanship and accuracy. From historical tributes to terrifyingly true to form Van Du reproductions, Asperia ships are as functional as they are faithful. And now, Banu made. Their tendency to liberally borrow from the tech and design principles of neighboring cultures has earned the Banu a specific reputation with aerospace enthusiasts, when a superior quality through the successful unification of seemingly disparate systems and designs into something wonderfully singular. Alright. So we'll work now. Show you what it looks like from the seat. See, it's called a Nox. The Nox. There's even a uh, special variant made to commemorate the uh, trade agreements and friendship between the humans and the Shions. Called a Nox Q, which has like a lighter, whiter skin. Um, I don't think it's on the show floor here today. It's basically the same thing, it's just a skin. Okay. Server Mitch match. As you can see, uh, Other than being some glitches here and there. <laughs> A little off to the side. Anyways. Yeah. What you didn't see in first person is that the windscreen and the, uh, the back section actually extends out. Oh, so. Yeah, this back section extends out. And the windscreen extends out, provides somewhat of an like kind of enclosed space. Let's see if it'll bug out. Yeah. <laughs> Animation's a little buggy with that. This here is the cart to all. Light fire. And this is its landing configuration. Rear engine nacelles, kind of like pointed up, whatever. But as I was saying previous day, the Xi'an are all about the, like the verticality. When you take off and uh, put it to its normal configuration, these engines, these uh, little wings over here, whatever they're called, would actually go vertical. And it will look like a blossoming star like that. This is what it looks like when it's not in like landing configuration. It has good sized guns for it, you know. It's a light fighter, don't expect you know much armor. Oh, the Nox Q is here. As you can see, it's just like a lighter skin, you know, it's not like stuffy black, it's just like a little bit of white, you know, 
saying. Alright, so, excuse me. Okay. Right now, for the alien ships, we basically just have like placeholder UI for all of them, so it's gonna be all samey. Even though the placeholder uh, bitching Betty, whatever it's called. Yeah. We use globes for control of the ship. Interesting control configuration. I'm sure they thought humans were compatible with it. Their hands must be very circular or something. I don't know. So you can see pretty good views if you can mind the thick struts over here. This front section won't be in your view when you uh, put it to its vertical thing. Yeah. So yeah, let me now get out, that's it. As you can see, all these steps are levitating. This door seems to have a mind of its own. Anyways, yeah, there you go. The light fighter. Now here's the Banu. See, they're very artistic species. You know, they like to have their ornate designs, smooth. Flowing lines. And they take a lot of cues from, uh. What the hell? Anyways. Seems like the ship design takes a lot of cues from nature, really. It's like this one looks mostly like a crab. Once I get in the ship and show you the overall shape, it will, you will see it better. It really looks like a crab. This is its pincers and everything. As you can see here, this hasn't been officially confirmed, but many people have been saying that the Banu have actually an advanced um, uh, architectural design. Where instead of manufacturing parts or whatever, they actually grow. They actually control DNA to grow like the frame and the skeletons of their ships and possibly their buildings. Which is amazing it's literally manipulating DNA to use their ships and buildings you can see like these bone like structures and everything 
Now this ship has two cockpits. You can control the ship from either side. At least for humans, you can't control it both at the same time. But this, is, but I suspect this is what the Banu actually does. Like two pilots working in sync with each other, control the ship and its systems. And of course, you got the bed over here. Can with like a beautiful design on it. You know, they're very artistic, you know. A lot of ornate designs, and everything. I guess this is like a component door of some kind. And when the ship is damaged, you see some kind of like green liquid leaking out from one of these pipes over here. But it, it will kind of like give off like the ship is bleeding in some way. Oh, you got two rep weapon racks over here. One for each pilot, I guess. Yeah, not a lot of amenities, just beds and weapon racks. Uh, I mean, I don't know how the Banu goes to the bathroom, but yeah. This, um, the companionship for this. It's actually a much bigger ship, kind of like a mobile marketplace that has not been made yet. Sure, the UI will look much more unique once they got the replace the placeholders with the actual uh, UI they don't want to make for this. You can see, kind of looks like a crab. Right? Its engines, these structures over here, are actually taken from the Xion engines. They borrowed this uh, engine tech from the Xions, but they changed it up to their own uh, unique way. The Xion engines are blue, but theirs are they emit some type of green thing. Later, I might show you what the uh, other configurations of these ships will look like. But if you look closely, also, you can see there's like kind of like a breathing effect for the lights, as if the ship itself is breathing, or like its heartbeat or something. It's a very nice touch. I guess they're like the most closely connected with nature of all, out of all the species. This is Esperia, who like mixing recreations of the Vandal ships. Probably not popular with the, with the, the military, but I guess any uh, civilians who buy one of their ships really need to keep on guard. Anyone can just like attack him out of like PTSD or something. It's just bug. A little bit more the outside. Their ship is very, like, skeleton-like, you know. It's supposed to represent, like, death. And the Vandal are a very, 
very big fans of sharp objects. You'll see like knife like structures all over their ships. Like these and that. You can see it looks just. The orange glow doesn't get in the way. This ship just looks very skeletal and very creepy. These are actually very specific weapons to the Vandal race. Vandal basically they're uh ravagers. They're uh what do they always call them? People are always like comparing him to like the, the Mongols. They're like a nomadic type of species, you know, they don't really stay in one place for long, they just like to move everywhere in different packs. Right now, they're attacking the human race. They first started attacking like some colonies, and you know, of course, the navy was sent out to defend those colonies. I guess the Vandal really didn't like that. They just sent out their bigger and bigger ships, and it just escalated to a full-scale war against them. They, they started it. But they like taking scrap and salvage from other species and just kind of like pasting them together or whatever. Like this uh, design over here, artistic lines, or whatever, probably taken from a Banu spacecraft. Three, so. There we go. Man, it's all bugged animations today. Hey. Right. Yeah. This is how the pilot sits and then you kind of just lie down. Very basic looking in terms of uh, you just see pipes spinning about everywhere, holographic displays. Here's our light fighter. As you can see, this is like very uh, creepy looking. And you really need to avoid them ramming you because they really do like to ram with their. Uh, knives in front of their ships. Try to spear you with their ships. Right. Slide out on the seat. There we go. This one is the heavier fighter. 
or medium fighter. This is the symmetrical version of it. You know what I'm saying? The asymmetrical version is the scythe. This is called a glaive. This is for like the more experienced pilots. You know what I'm saying? Would you look at the size of these cannons? God damn. Yeah, you do not want to be hit with one of these. You do not want to be rammed with one of these. Oof. I believe they have two smaller guns. They have smaller guns. I thought they did. I don't think this is a gun. Some type of sensor. Beat just dropped. I'm just listening to their music. Like I, I was kind of surprised by that, but uh, yeah, this is actually quite an old design. They made this way back in 2014. I'm not sure they're gonna like um, because the blades over there to the sides were made in like I believe 2018. Yeah, once they had like their design style down and everything. So I'm not sure if they're gonna like keep this design or like update it to better match this one. Because they stone like teases of their bigger ships and they all look they all have this type of look here. This type of design language. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna like sometime in the future they're gonna update this to better match the design language. I could try to get inside. Oh, I'm inside it. There we go. That's the same principle. Yeah. As you can see, it may look a bit outdated. Yeah, and this was like made back in 2014, 2013. Yeah. Bit better views than the blade. But again, those are whew, really big guns. You can do some real damage with this. And if you can't hit them, ram them. Flying machines of death. Kind of really like the paint job of these. If they do like uh, update it to to the new design language, uh, hope they kind of keep this paint job in somehow. That's it. That's all the imports. I think this is where the smaller guns are at. Yeah. Yeah, those are the smaller guns. 